Welcome back to the Team to Beat Miami Heat podcast, your one-stop shop for daily Miami Heat content. My name is Amir. So for today's episode, I want to talk about Jimmy Butler. Had an interview recently talking about how he's been unavailable for the Miami Heat and his focus this year is solely going to be on playing games and winning games for the Miami Heat. He said he doesn't really care about the contract or the money, which is a complete change from earlier this offseason when Jimmy Butler and Bernie Lee mentioned they were going to ask for a max extension before the July 7th um, timeframe um, when he became eligible to to receive an extra, was it one year or so, where Jimmy Butler was going to make 56, 58, and 60 million over a three year time period over the next three seasons. So Jimmy Butler has backtracked and now is talking about how he just wants to help the Miami Heat win. He doesn't want to sign an extension with anybody else at this point. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I just want to get your guys' thoughts on on the whole um, Jimmy Butler situation. Uh, I think it is interesting. So Jimmy was quoted saying, I want to play as many games as possible. I leave it at that. I don't need to put a number on the amount of games that I play. I know the more games that I play, the more opportunities that my squad has of winning. I do know that. Butler added that he's just here to win, pushing aside money as a motivating factor, which is interesting. He's in a contract year. You would think that he would play balls to the wall because then he would get his one last lucrative contract as he's an aging superstar at 35. He just turned 35. He also said, if we're brutally honest, no matter what, nothing I do now is going to get me paid any more money. Butler said, even though I don't care about the money or all NBA, da 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 da, none of that is going to matter. I'm at the point right now that I got more than enough money. I'm just here to win. So Butler is under contract with the Miami Heat for this upcoming season. He is making, I think, $46 million or so. Um, and then he has a player option in 2025, um, the 2026 season. And he could become a free agent next off season if he doesn't pick up his player option. And he also said that if for some reason he gets traded or, or if he'd ever requested a trade, um, which he hasn't, obviously, um, he isn't expected to sign any sort of extension before he becomes eligible to pick up his option or not. So um, even with Jimmy Butler potentially hitting free agency, he seemingly as of late, especially during training camp and during this preseason says he wants to remain with the Miami heat. He loves the Miami heat culture. He loves the city of Miami. He wants to win a championship with Miami. And so it looks like Jimmy Butler wants to win here, which is a good thing. Cause I love Jimmy Butler. It's been a fun um, five years with Jimmy Butler, unexpected to go to the championship twice, especially as an eighth seed. Um, really, Really fun time um, being a Miami Heat fan, but also ultimately they didn't win a championship, which I'm sure Jimmy Butler is upset about. And a lot of Heat fans are too as well. So don't want to take it for granted. It's hard to get to the finals. It's hard to be a team that contends and competes um, all the time. Not many franchises can say that, but ultimately the Miami Heat want to win a championship. It's been 10 years since they won last championship with LeBron James and D-Wade and Chris Bosh. So Jimmy wants to bring that championship to the Miami. So it's going to be interesting to see how many games Jimmy Butler does play this season because the Heat do need him to be on the floor. Last season, the Miami Heat, it was a tough race in the East. They were the eighth seed, but they were four games from, I think, like second place. Um, outside of the Celtics, who were dominating, the Knicks, who were the second seed, you know, were four games ahead of the Miami Heat. So it was really competitive in the East last season. And if we had Jimmy Butler, who didn't miss over 20 games last season, um, obviously I'm not even factoring in Tyler Hero, who missed 40 games, and Caleb Martin, who missed 15, and Haywood Highsmith, and Bam, and everybody, Duncan and Terry, obviously, everybody missed games. And the Heat were still only four games um, from the second seed. So imagine if Jimmy Butler was on the floor in the regular season more often. Um, it would have been huge for this Miami Heat. The Miami Heat most likely would have avoided the play-in and then factor in Tyler Hero missing in, missing half the season. Um, it could have been a completely different season. And we also know, um, based on the Netflix series, I think it's called Starting Five, we heard from Jimmy Butler directly um, that his head was not in the game of basketball last year. We know his father passed away, unfortunately. Um, and that was huge. That was those off-court 
issues for Jimmy Butler weighed a lot and he had a heavy heart last season. And I think it was hard for him to focus on basketball, especially with that on his mind. He was really close with his dad. He was living with him at the time. And he figured, or he found out that his dad had terminal cancer when they were playing the Celtics, I think last season, not this past season, but the season before, um, when they were in the Eastern Conference Finals. So Jimmy's dad was living with him. Unfortunately, he passed away in February. Um, so Jimmy not only was dealing with the injuries, but then he was dealing with the loss of his father. So that impacted his season as well. So um, Jimmy Butler coming into this season, I think he's going to want to dedicate it to his father. He wants to win games. He wants to win a championship for the Miami Heat. And I think that's powerful. Um, I think Jimmy, again, he's still going to play for that contract. Like, of course, he doesn't need any money. If you're a superstar and you've made, you know, $100 million, $200 million in the league, which Jimmy's made well over, then of course you're set for life. And he has generational money as well for his kids, which is good. But he still probably wants to get a decent sized check. Like, I don't, he's making $46 million this season. His player option for next season is 52. So I can see a world where he just plays that final season with the Miami Heat. So he's with the Miami Heat for two more seasons. Then they can renegotiate a one or two or three year deal. Um, But I don't know why Jimmy wouldn't take that $52 million option. It's going to be rare for him to get a contract of that size with another team. Um, And, but if he is really interested in winning with this Miami Heat, staying with this Miami Heat, I would assume that he plays out the rest of the contract, picks up the player option, opts in for that 52 million. And then, he's going to be 36 or so going into that uh, season with the Miami Heat as a free agent. He's going to be a free agent then. Um, If he really wants to help this Miami Heat team win and help them develop their roster and continue to put better pieces around Bam and himself and Terry and Tyler, then he could do something what DeMar DeRozan did. Like DeMar DeRozan, age 34, he's one year younger than Jimmy Butler. He's a better offensive player than Jimmy, not a better defender or overall player, but um, you know, similar esque type of player to Jimmy Butler. Um, obviously, not when it comes to the playoff resume, but still, um, he was averaging 24 points per game last season with the Bulls, and he made um, 25 million dollars per year with the Kings. So I think he signed like a three-year, 75 million dollar deal or 79 million dollar deal. So he's making like 26 million per year. That's something that we need Jimmy Butler to do. So if he wants to play with the Heat for the next two seasons. You know, he gets that $46 million this season, 52 next, and then he becomes a free agent. I could see the Heat signing him for two years, $50 million, um, where he's making $25 million a year, or even $30 million, maybe two years, $60 million. Um, there's no world where I see Jimmy Butler making over $52 um, or $55 million in those final two seasons where the Heat give him $100 million. It's just impossible with the way the CBA works right now, especially how Bam Adebayo got his max um, offer. It's hard to have more than two. So if he wants to build a better team around him, especially if they don't win this year, then I think Jimmy Butler is going to have to take a pay cut to stay with his Miami Heat team if he truly wants to stay in Miami and win a championship. So that's all I have for today's episode. Um, Let me know what you guys think about the Jimmy Butler comments saying that he just cares about playing more games next season and winning and doesn't really care about the money. Um, Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for the time.